26 years in law enforcement work packed into these boxes can't begin to cover the stories that Captain Tony Harrison experienced in his time with the Rapid City Police Department and the Pennington County Sheriff's Office. This is my first radio, oh my which is pretty cool. It doesn't work, but there's my TH-397 was my ID call sign back yeah. then. Wow. And um, 285 was actually my training officer, Tracy Wiest. But this is our first radio, I mean. Harrison remembers getting the phone call to say he got the job on October 1st, 1996. He was 24 years old. So, I mean, this is the letter that said, Tony Harrison's officially a police officer. And I got a call saying, we're gonna hire you. And I'm like, wow, that's kind of weird. Okay, I've been, I wanted to be a police officer my, my whole young life. And I wanted to start out being a astronaut, but I was in the Air Force. So I wanted to be an astronaut because it would be fun. I wanted to be a pilot and an astronaut. Um, but at 14, I got glasses. So I knew that was out because back then we had LASIK eye surgery. So you couldn't do what you can today. So I was out as a pilot and astronaut. So I said, what's the next most fun job? So I, uh, I said, let's be a cop at 14. At 24, I got hired by Rapid PD. So for um, 18 and a half years, um, I did pretty much everything in the agency other than um, become a lieutenant or higher. 1197 is the first night I worked in patrol. And so these are the notes I took the first night I worked of the whatever the sergeant said. And of course, I'm a rookie, so I'm like so writing it right, down. Right. I started out working patrol like everybody else does. Worked for many years, about five and a half years in patrol. I loved it. Loved working the streets. Loved dealing with people. Loved making contacts. Loved finding dope. Doing drug work was always my passion. Dealing with gang members was always my passion. And so I just had a great time. Uh, and then after about five and a half years, I went to CID, became an investigator, and I worked property crimes. And then after about two years, there's an opening came open in the drug office, the UNET, which is where my, my career goal was at that time, was to become a UNET guy, a drug guy. And so I got that position. I was there for four years working narcotics, and that was, that was my, my heyday of my life at that point, was doing all that dope work, and I enjoyed it. All along, you know, I'd get involved with the SRT, which is our SWAT team, which I always wondered. I want to do, when I got involved, the PD, within about a week, I want to do gangs, drugs, and SWAT stuff. That was my three things, because that's looked like the most fun. And I got involved with all three within, a, you know, within, you know, five years of my career. So, and then I got promoted to sergeant, so I came back to the streets, and then I went to crime prevention. And that morphed into the first street crimes unit. So I supervised the first street crimes unit. We were basically like a bike patrol, and we went and dealt with what the quality of life does now over here. And then I went to training after that for about a year and a half or two years. And I ran the training division for the PD. Uh, and then I went back to the unit as a sergeant. So I went back as a sergeant at the PD uh, who ran the city, county, state task force. All drug investigations, my passion, had a ton of fun. Then two years into that position, he went from the drug unit to patrol sergeant, but he didn't want the irregular schedule. So he pitched an idea to Sheriff Tome to work in the sheriff's office as a sergeant. And to his amazement, he got the job and worked in the drug unit for the PCSO. Then a lieutenant position opened, which he applied for and didn't get. But then a year later, a captain position came open and this time he landed the job. I'm a firm believer in, in life. You miss every shot you don't take. So why not take the shot? As Captain Harrison patrolled for about three years, then went over to the Crime Investigations Division. He did undercover work and much more, enjoying every minute. And I've never looked any farther than this. This is where I wanted to end my years and my career, and that's where I'm going to end my career, and I'm pretty, pretty happy about it. I love getting out of bed and coming to work I love what I do and I love serving the people. Harrison admits the career field he chose can be draining mentally and emotionally, but feels like he was built for the challenge learning to always trust his instincts. Uh, it does take kind of a special person because you got to have thick skin, but you also got to have um, compassion, which is, you know, those sometimes don't go hand in hand. You got to have empathy. Um, you got to have quick decision making. Tom Henney said this when he hired us years ago in 96. He told us, and this was his quote, we're the hired hands of the community. That was a quote he always told us as law enforcement, and we are. We work for the, for the citizens. Um, and so, we owe them a debt of service if they call to, to, to give them the service they want. So that's, that's where we focus, and that's what I've always focused on in my career is that positive side of it, which is um, I'm doing something to make the community better. Harrison says his worst day on the job was August 2nd when officers Armstrong and McCandless were killed, but goes on to say it was also a day that our community became stronger. The benefit of that, though, was our community came to our rescue. 
we were really hurt, we were really broken, and our community came and helped us. And that's a big deal to me, um, that they, uh, they stood by us during all this, and I'll never forget it. The memorabilia collected over the years doesn't compare to the stories and the memories Harrison will carry with him into the next chapter of life. But it's, well, that's what I love to do. I love serving the citizens of our city, our county, our state, and our country, because um, I've had connects all over the country that we've had major international cases. I mean, um, it's, been, it's, been, it's been a real blessing to, uh, to serve the people of our community.